right, good morning, folks. Y'all know what time it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and most importantly, the fish and accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So we are in mid-September. Uh, this, you know, summer and fall intro is just flying on by. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try and hit the water and get on some action. Uh, we're gonna be hitting the sound again today. I just don't have it in me to go down to the South Shore. I'm sure there's some action to be had there. Probably a ton of porgies, but I've been sleeping in a little, being lazy, and I just like to get a later start, especially with the wind forecast. So the goal for today is to do some deeper fishing. I think the wind forecast will be adequate for this. Um, I'm hoping, really hoping, that getting out in the sound, we can hit up some deep structure and maybe get into some rocks and wrecks and find some sea bass. I'm not sure. Um, if not, obviously there's always the option for porgies and potentially fluke, but that is what I'm hoping for. So I brought some heavier jig heads and bucktails with me, some larger gulp, and I'm hoping that between that uh, and hopefully ideal conditions, we can put something together. So regardless, we're gonna get something, I hope. So stay tuned, because as always, I like to say, you know what we're about to do, get some fishing. Accomplished. All right, we are out on the water in the Western Sound. Got the trolling motor going. I gotta make some adjustments to it because it keeps kind of slipping a little bit. But regardless, uh, wind forecast is supposed to be pretty good right now, but it's definitely a bit choppier than expected, but totally doable. Just gotta be on my toes a little bit more. So it feels like it's starting to lighten up and it's supposed to be really lightening up this morning. Um, I'm gonna go a little further out see how it looks. If it starts to get really squirrely though, we'll just turn back around. So safety first, right? Okay, it was a little perilous getting out here, but we're rolling up on the first spot I want to check out. We've got some structure under, under us. Um, I don't think we have too much tide right now. It's about to bottom out. We've got plenty of wind, so I'm going to try 1.5 ounce pro bucktail with a 5 inch gulp pink rub. See if that can hold bottom. If not, we got some options to upgrade or upsize, but let's see if we can hold this and hopefully uh, it'll get a little bit calmer out here as we go. Technically, it should only get, it should at worst remain the same, but uh, fingers crossed it kind of flattens out. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bumpy ride back. Drop. Definitely got some life down there. That's a good sign. Question is, will 1.5 ounce uh, hold? All right, we're on bottom. Might be a sea bass. Feels like a sea bass. Let's see if we got what we came for. Indeed we did. I don't think he's gonna keep, but it's a good sign. A little small. Get bigger, but good start. Okay, first fish was exactly what we were looking for in terms of species. Not in terms of size, but where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Let's even get a bigger one. All right, we're gonna try this spot one more time. Two ounce black Spro Bucktail, five inch uh, Gulf Grub Pink. Let's see if this does the trick. Just mixing and matching colors and weights. The tide does, I'm sorry, uh, the wind seems to be receding, so. I'm a little less nervous to go out deeper, but we're gonna hang this hang in this spot because I did have one really good hit um, that I missed in addition to that one fish. So let's try one more time. Okay, spot number two, we're going real deep, about a hundred feet down, thereabouts. Got some submerged boulders. Let's see what's going on over here. That's a fluke, maybe. I don't know what that is. But we gotta pull them up 90 feet to find out. It's not a sea robin, that much we know. 
Well, we, we found another sea bass. But it won't keep. We just got our second sea bass, another short, but at least we know we're on them, so let's see if there's a few more down there. Okay, I think this is like my fourth spot that I'm checking out. Uh, this looks like a very large boulder out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I was talking to my friend Pete about just, you know, tactics to get these sea bass in these parts. And, you know, a lot of the overt stuff that's in your face has already been picked clean or, you know, is pressured to death. But you find these isolated pieces of structure in deep water and you actually have a shot at, you know, getting some fish that aren't targeted every single day. So it seems like every spot I've gone to, I've found at least one fish, but, uh, question is whether we can find more than one a and something big enough to keep b so hopefully this is the spot so i don't want to venture out too much further and i got a few more obvious spots to check out where i found life before too so hopefully between those two things uh something pulls out Got some pull to them. Got a lot of structure here. Could be the target species, though I don't think he's that big. All right, yeah, that's the target. About the same size we can expect all day. But we didn't have to work too hard for him. Try again. All right, it seems like we get one fish each spot, so uh, yeah. Hopefully this breaks that trend. That fish came up right away, and there's a lot of good structure here. Saw a huge school of bait not too long ago too, so. Oh, that did not take long at all. That feels good. That's the one right there. This is the spot. This is the spot. This is what we've been looking for all day. Took long enough, but this is definitely in another league. Another league. Oh, it's a weak fish. Damn, it's a nice one. Nice weak fish. Get a net on you. Thought I had my nice keeper sea bass, but instead we got a mini tide runner. Or a legit tide runner even. That's probably my biggest ever. Though I don't catch a lot of weak fish. But uh yeah, that's cool. It's an easy probably 24 inch here. Nice fish. Especially out of the sound. Yeah, it's bigger than what we got last time. Get a quick shot. All right, look at that guy. Whew. Tide runner. For me at least. It's not huge, but one heck of a fish. Pretty. Get a quick measure, we'll get him back. I'm guessing like 24-ish, maybe 25. Got some girth to him too. A little over 24. Pretty fish. See you later, buddy. Well, that was 100% the best action we've had all day today. Two fish right away consecutively. So while it didn't really pay off right from the get-go, uh, we're gonna get right back at the beginning of that drift. We weren't even in the water for five minutes. So time to celebrate. What better way, and it's been a while, than our seltzer of the day. So today, let's crack that open. Here's a brand I don't know if I've ever done on the channel, but this is Waterloo. And I'm a big fan of this stuff. Mm. This is grape, and if you're like a soda fanatic and you like grape soda, but you want to like cut back on sugar, this is it right here. In fact, pretty much all their flavors I'm a big fan of. So, Waterloo, definitely check them out. And thank you for checking this video out. We're going to start that drift over again and see if we can get uh, some more nice fish, whatever we can get. And of course, while you're here, if you haven't done so already, please like the video. Thank you so much for liking the other videos. Uh, a couple videos ago, I asked to hit 50 likes and you guys did it, and then some. So thank you so much. Like, subscribe, etc. Uh, 
Thank you in advance. Let's try that drift again. This is the spot right here, man. I'm already getting bit. Not even the water two minutes. Been struggling everywhere else, but here I'm not even trying. Can't stay off the fish so far. Though I shouldn't jinx it. There he goes. Another fish. Another nice fish. Damn. Another probably big weak fish. Good fish. Damn. Good fish. Definitely weak fish. Weak fish for sea bass. Either way, we're good. Good fish. It's probably bigger than the last one. Damn. Let's get a look at this one. Gotta see this fish. Another weak fish. Big weak fish. Nice fish. Damn, son. We're gonna get like legitimate muscles catching all these weak fish. It's another like probably cookie cutter, the last one. It's awesome. Maybe even bigger, I don't know. Not gonna measure them, but this is what we've been looking for. If you ever want to catch weak fish out here, beautiful. There he is. Oh yeah, another nice fish. I don't know what it is, but it's nice. Probably another weak fish, but it could be a sea bass. Happy with either, but only one of them would come home with us. This one doesn't feel quite as big. Still nice though. Oh, it's not the weak fish. That was a striper for a second. It's another like 23, 24 incher. Pretty, pretty fish. Sorry for the bloodiness. There he is. Time to play the game. Sea bass or weak fish? Probably weak fish, but maybe sea bass. Sea bass, and that might be a keeper. He'll be close. But he's not really the size we're looking for, so we'll let him go. It's probably 15, 14 and a half, 15. All right, well, with that, that's all the pink I have, but I have plenty of fat cow jig strips, so let's see if this does the trick. It's done the trick in Montauk, and occasionally out here too, so that like so and let's give it another go okay i got a decent sized short sea bass in that last one does show there's hope to maybe get a, a knucklehead down here there's a ton of structure i don't know how i didn't you know just check this spot out from the get-go but what's even more surprising is there's no one else out here with me but not at all complaining happy to take this for myself Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fluke, I think. That's a fluke. Yeah, that's a fluke. Feels decent too. Nice, lightening up, but it's cool to get a fluke. Could be all right. First time getting one of these in a few. 
Uh, give him a good nut. Come on. Be close. 18 and a half isn't that big, so. Give you a measure. This guy is going to be very close, but he is, he's, yeah, he's 18 and a half, just a hair over, just pinching, not even pinching, he's, we'll keep him, why not, eat him for dinner tomorrow or something. I just string that fluke up and he did some incredible fluke acrobatics and flopped out of the boat, but honestly it's no loss, he wasn't that big. Uh, if he was like a six pounder, that would be a different story, but... I wouldn't let a six pounder just sit there in the boat. So but like that thing must have flopped like this high out. I was pretty shocked to be honest, uh, but not really that big a deal. That thing wasn't that big. If I had another fish in the boat, I'd maybe be a little more upset, but I got plenty of fluke in the freezer. Make no mistake, I'm always happy to have a little more, but uh, what I'm really hoping to catch to keep today will be sea bass. But if I got a really nice fluke, that would be pretty cool. But Let's just keep doing what we're doing. We're having a good time. Very relaxing. Oh, oh no, that felt good. That might have been a good fluke. Ah. Gotta pay attention to my own line. A lot of life over here. This is a really good spot. There he is. What could that be? What could that be? It might be a sea robin. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Big old porgy. <laughs> Catching everything here. He ain't that big. But he took my gulp, so that's not cool. I yeah, just got a porgy in that last drift, and we hooked something really nice before we got him, but didn't stick him. Let's try that same drift again. That's a good fish. And it's off. Is it? Yeah, it's off. Probably a weak fish. Dang. Get it back down. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's so much life. Like, look at this. What could that be? Pretty sure a weak fish. Good one. Weak fish or sea bass? Big, whatever it is. Nice weak fish. Wow, that's a good one. Look at the color. Oh, no. Oh, that one was the biggest one. That was the biggest one. It's easy for me to say that, but definitely at least like 25. Oh. Just lost a really nice weak fish right at the boat. Wasn't gonna keep it, but that thing looked at least every, every bit of uh, Wasn't gonna keep that fish, but that thing looked every bit of 25, 26, maybe. I don't know. It's easy for me to say that he got away, but really nice fish. Really yellow too. Beautiful colors. Oh well. At least we got to see him. And we know there's still quite a few around. There. Weak fish are tough. You gotta get them hooked just right. This one's not very big, whatever it is. 
or sea bass. If I can just get one of these that was like two or three inches bigger, I'd be set. I told myself I'd go through one more pack of these, and if it happens, this is my last one. Uh, we're gonna switch to the fat cow jig strip combo. I've been doing with these six inch is just cutting a little bit off the top just because even you know these nicer weak fish they're gonna have trouble taking this entire thing you know two ounce bucktail six inch gulp like they'll they'll take it but a lot of them are gonna miss and probably just hit the bottom half so figure this is a bit more productive to ensure more good hook sets and less just tail ripping That's decent. Depends on what it is. Probably a weak fish, which there's nothing wrong with. But if it's a sea bass on the other hand, eh, it's gone, it's a weak fish. <laughs> Probably a weak fish. Slammed it. Slammed it. This one's good. This one feels really good. This might make up for that one we lost. I'm gonna loosen the drag a little. Let him run, not rip it out of its mouth. This feels like the best one since that one we lost. Could be a sea bass too, which would be awesome. A little late in the game to start keeping fish, but better late than never. Oh wow, good, good, good weak fish. That'll make up for that one we lost. That's a true tide runner for me. Big weak fish, damn, Daniel. Come on, <laughs> I'm gonna lose this one too. Oh, don't, don't come off, come on, come on. <laughs> yes, dude, all right, we can say we made up for that one we lost. Wow, new PB for sure. Not a huge, but that's a solid fish. Beautiful too, wow. Do a quick measure, probably like 25, 26. Just measure it against the net. It's almost 26. Probably can't see it and I apologize for that, but let's get a shot of this one. Solid weak fish, which is about 26 incher. Let's not lose our net. All right. Beautiful. Got those fangs. Let's get them back. Awesome. I don't do a ton of weak fish fishing, but this is definitely the best weak fish bite I've ever gotten in terms of quality and quantity at the same time. Um, and that one we just got was definitely our PB. Again, I don't do a ton of weak fish fishing, but you know, I've kind of been stuck at 24 up until today. Uh, but you know, with that kind of fish down there and the numbers we have, we could even see maybe like a, you know, something flirting with 30. So let's, let's try at it. I could maybe give another hour of fish and then I gotta pack it up. So let's see how we can finish. There he is, there, oh. <laughs> Missed him like three times. Not that time. Probably a weak fish, but maybe a sea bass. Came back for it, so it could be a sea bass. Yeah, that's our keeper sea bass right there. Better late than never, but I don't know. Not a big keeper. I think he's 16 at least. Not the kind of keeper we really want, but just so we know for future reference. Yeah, 
Yeah. Like 15 and three quarters. Filament went over 16, but not the rest of the tail. Bass that was very close to keeper size. Like its filament went over 15, 16, but the tail, the middle of the tail didn't. So we tossed him back. And honestly, even if that fish was a full easy 16, I probably would have let him go because I don't really have much use for one single 16 inch sea bass. And honestly, unless like this, I get a phenomenal sea bass bite right now, I'm looking to pretty much pack things up. So uh, I'm just fishing for fun right now. I mean, if I get something gigantic and edible, I'll think about keeping it. And really all that's, all that would fall within that criteria is probably like a giant, giant sea bass or uh, a doormat fluke, which again, this late in the game, Highly doubt it. Well, there's something. Probably another small sea bass. Indeed, I found these guys. All right, unless we get a really, really good drift and we get a lot of fish or lose something gigantic this will probably be my last drift i gotta start packing up and it's gonna take me a while to get back in and out of the water etc etc so we had a good run it's definitely slowing down too still fish around make no mistake but i think we might as well end on a high note and keep a few pieces of gulp for next time burn through a lot but still got a few large pieces left for next weekend which will hopefully be montauk but we'll see we shall see okay that's gonna be a wrap for another session uh yeah that was a lot of fun uh it was straight up lackluster this entire morning and then just was completely lights out by the second half of the day and we really worked for it too you know like i was very close to you know after the second or third spot or fourth spot even going right back to where we started and potentially hitting up some of the spots I hit up last time I was in this area. But thank goodness we didn't. Thank goodness we kept pushing on and we got a brand new spot for myself to check out in the future. So yeah, it's always it always pays to explore from time to time, especially when things aren't going your way. So definitely psyched on that weak fish catch. Uh, that one was my PB and lost another one that was right up there with it. Uh, and while we didn't get the big sea bass today, that's definitely a spot that could yield some in the future, whether it be this season or another. And I could definitely see some good fluke being there too. I mean, we got that one that was a keeper right in the dot and we're in the tail end of the season. We had a good season fishing for fluke, so I can't complain. And today was a really fun day. Um, definitely we'll come back here. Maybe not this season, depending on how things go, but in a later one for sure, as it's fairly close to where I live, so. That being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, the fluke season is dwindling, but still sea bass, still tog coming right around the corner. So that's something to look forward to. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, goodbye from fishing.